the Drake and Josh <laughs> on the show. His name was Drake Bell. No, that's his. Well, that's his name in real well, life. Well, yours was Josh Nichols. His name was Drake Parker on the show. Oh shit! Yeah, okay. yeah. Why did they change your names? Well, we got to keep our first name, which was dope. Yeah, that's if, yeah. If I had to spend the rest of my life with like people, you know, being like Screech, be yeah, like, oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> no, no hate on Screech. Much love, Dustin Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> but like, so it was nice that we were our first names. But I guess they can't. Like, I'm sure for some legal reason they can. Um, they can't give us our, you know, allow us to have our full name. And like, we were characters. Like Victorious, Victoria Justice is is close. True. But interesting. Right? Yo, what's the Nickelodeon machine like? Mm. It's, you know, it's changed so much since like when we were there. Because we were, I, I'm sort of proud of the fact, like I feel like we were the last of the, like all that, Keenan and Kel, yeah. Amanda yeah. show. Um, so back then, you know, there was no social media. It wasn't like we got these kids young and then we're going to make them pop stars and superstars and build this huge thing. It was just kind of like, yeah, kid, like you're great. Come do your job and and that's it. I feel like that is so much healthier than kind the, of is, than the right? Disney machine. Mm. In what way? Just because, like, yo, my bro- like not to yeah, uh, not this. to throw Disney under the I'm bus, but like my brother, out. my brother was on a Disney show, mm. and like I went, and it's a machine. Sure, you wake up, you go do the work for X hours each day. You're with an acting coach, a singing coach, a dialect coach. You do script Man. and table. It's like it is a machine. And these kids are bred to be winners and champions and superstars. Right. And uh, we've seen it with a lot of the Disney stars that does happen. But there sometimes is like a period where they go in their crazy phase. Right. Uh, but I, I've noticed Nickelodeon stars don't really go through that. That's why I'm wondering, does it feel like you're, I don't, I don't know, for lack of better uh, words, a slave to the system? I think, you know, it's funny because it actually sounds like they're going back to the way it was like in the 40s and 50s, a major movie studio would just buy you and be like, we're going to pay you, Logan, monthly or yearly, and you're going to act in two of our movies and one of our TV shows, and we're going to tour you around doing like some sort of act. And so then they kind of got away from that. And I think I've been lucky where I definitely had my like moments of being a total cliche child actor, sowing my wild oats, being an idiot at the club. But it was before camera phones or like oh, they were like the so shitty true. Nokia ones. Yeah. And so yeah. lucky you. Like, and it was 18, <laughs> 19, you. you know, just being a knucklehead. And then I cleaned it up quick enough because my mom wasn't having it. And it was just like, I got to spread my wings. Okay, I'm done. Yeah. And so that was it. But Did you cut it off then? Yeah, I mean, I just really? kind of, yeah, I was lucky enough to sort of get hip to the fact that like it's not sustainable and I would hate to diminish all the things that I've worked so hard for by mm. being like that guy on TMZ. You don't want to be Johnny Depp mess. is what you're saying. Oh, I would love to. I would happily <clears throat> be a hot mess if I could be Johnny Depp. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean, let's get real <laughs> I, yeah, I, yeah, 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 right. I was going to hold this off to later, but I'm just going to say it. You look sexy as hell. Amazing. So do you, my friend. Amazing. I mean, you just uh, like – from watching you growing up to now being the sexy beast, like, wow. do you have a lot of people following you that were around that same boat? Are you turning other people into sexy beasts as well? First of all, I don't know if it's the merch, but it's bouncing off your beautiful blue eyes. And it is the merch. It is the merch. I would suspect it's Logan the merch. Slash up. <laughs> um, no, what you know, Spencer's saying is, was there a point mm, where you were like, I'm sexy as fuck? Damn. I don't... Yo, the truth is, is growing up chubby for me was really challenging. And then having my chubby years on, and let's be honest, I was not chubby. I was very overweight. (laughs) 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 Having them on reruns on television, your awkward teenage years forever was tough. And, and then I remember I got healthy and I like from 17 to 19, I lost like a hundred pounds for you. That's Uh, awesome. That's awesome. But it's, you know, it's a transition. And even now at 32, there are times when I look in the mirror and I'm like, who do you think you are? What, what, why? What, why? No, like, who do you think you are? Because, <laughs> like, <laughs> who do you think you are? <laughs> What's the answer? <laughs> well, how do you answer that? There'll be moments where I'll be like, yeah, you do look guy. And then I'll be like, you're just 17 year old Josh. He's like, <laughs> no, I'm ordering chicken nuggets Yo, with his Big Mac. No, but he was dope. He, he was, was dope. Do- we all fell in love with that, Josh. Totally. And the craziest. And not to be like too mushy, but like, because I was mushy, but like, <laughs> like the fact that like there have been a number of people who say watching your weight, li- weight loss journey so publicly motivated me to try to get healthy. And that's unbelievable because like we all like because I remember being 17 and seeing people like working out or whatever, whatever. And that instigated me. But but like back to what you were saying before, the 
the weirdest thing, and I know Drake and I always share this, is that we've seen this show now, like 10 years later, go on and have this life and how people really love it. And for us, it's such a trip because when we were doing it, there was no like, you know, super sexy energy around it. It was just kind of like a job and a really awesome job. So interesting, but dude. We didn't realize that it would live on and that people would be like, this was my childhood. Show that yeah. show has fucking mm. legs, dude. Right? Became like Weird. a zeitgeist definition of, of an entire yeah. generation. No, yeah. that it, it was it, zeitgeist. Like it became like Part of people's lives. Part of the lexicon. The lexicon. The epitome a of a generation. That's not the hardest word. Yeah, that was a little, gonna, that was that was elementary. It's, I mean, it's okay. And guys, thank you for watching. <laughs> also, Mike is leaving hey, again. Sp speaking of being chunky. <laughs> yes. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Mike is the Josh Peck of our crew. Yeah. No. Yeah. He's your age. Mm-hmm. He, not to mention, I look like old you were a chubby caterpillar too that grew into a up. beautiful butterfly. Yes, he look was. At look at that fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, that's what this is. Up <laughs> First of all, I would have taken that loss. any day back in all my. Right. I mean, that's not bad at all. This is three hundred pound Mike. So that's two hundred. I was two hundred and eighty four pounds. No, and then you, I got down to one hundred and eighty four pounds I, through some cycling. And, and by the way, I loved Wendy's. There were days when I would do. <laughs> it's there great. were days when I. Sorry about the free brand shit. There were days when I would do Wendy's, McDonald's, Dutch's, and Taco Bell in one day. God I, would go, I called it the Quadracta. Wait, wow, yeah. Knowing that that's horrible. Horrible. Why you do that? Well, I don't know why. Because at the time of uh, me and Mister Peck's peak fatness, <laughs> it was actually uh, it was actually marketed to us as the cool thing. There were no there were no vegan lunches. There were no vegans. Vegans weren't it didn't exist yet. Maybe not where you were from, but he was you were here in LA, yeah? Did they I was have in vegans LA then? and I don't think being heavy set was ever the cool thing. No, but 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 <laughs> yes. they marketed very heavy. Yeah, and they you still know? do. I, it's funny because like we all have our thing. Like my thing was there was a vending machine because I lived in like this big apartment complex. So they had like this little vending machine. And my wife loves his story because when I started really putting on the pounds, I was like 14, 15, and around 10 30 at night, I'd sneak into my mom's room, grab some change out of the You're change lying. drawer. Oh yeah. And I, you know, this is 280 pounds sneaking. So I was loud. It's not but sneaking. No. Yeah. She it's heard stopping. me. She heard it's me. Like a giant coming. She, she had to act like she was asleep because she loved her son. And so <laughs> I would sneak Oh my out. God. This is vending machine. So then, you know, you got, we, there's levels to this shit. Yep. So Options. first you got the chips, right? Maybe I'm going to go with a sun chip. Maybe I'm going to go with a Dorito or a rolled gold. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah. So then start with the chips course. Yeah, yeah. Then you got to make it down to the to the chocolate. Sweet. I'm talking Snickers. I'm talking Twix. I'm talking Kit Kat. What's your oh, favorite? Yep. What's your favorite? Or what's your favorite? It depends. I mean, like a peanut butter Kit Kat, or I'm sorry, a peanut butter Twix will change yep. your life. Yep. There's a serious science behind what young Josh was going to eat. Yeah. yeah. And then gummy course. I'm talking like now and later, uh, Skittle, perhaps. Uh, some Sour sort of Patch Kids? Sour Patch Kid, a Zour, even. Ooh, love and, Zours, by the way. Yep. And then we got to we gotta end this shit, right? Because I'm not crazy with like a little cookie course. <sighs> like the mini grandmas. Desserts, yeah. The white, like the- it Sounds to me like if you cut out that routine alone, you would lose 100 pounds. <laughs> right. Yeah. But that was me. And then I go home and watch Howard Stern- and not and now you're on it. it. You're on. You're <laughs> yeah, on the young. You're on the it. young Howard Stern. Now you're on the new Howard. Young we've, Stern. We've, we've read some comments saying we're the we're the young Howard Stern. Yep. Wow. Which is which the is prince of all media. <sighs> Think about it. Think about it. Fred and Robin. Yep. So check Pete. us out. It's our names. <laughs>